Right, here comes the free hit. And helped away into the leg side. Going to be runs and four of them. Not the start that Nepal will have wanted, having won the toss, chosen to bowl first, just experienced. Cleaned him up. Oh, yes. Sampal Kami sets this series alight. He is delighted. The off stump goes cartwheeling out of the ground. And Nepal, they strike early. So hopefully he might get another chance as that one's driven down the ground. And Rohit Powell just crept in at mid-off. So good reward for Van Lingen. Only a fraction overpitched. Full face of the bat. Four runs down the ground. This one's nicely driven. And going to pierce the gap. And will run away all the way to the boundary. Just a check drive. No more than that. The Van Lingen starting to show exactly. Can play as a catcher. That's a good pickup stroke and gets it well in front of square. Takes on the short ball, gets it all the way for a maximum. That's an audacious stroke. Cammy wasn't happy being driven down. Now to Penderson Irie. He's driven through the covers immediately over pitch. You get a sense as to just how quick this outfield is. It is always going to win the race when you time the ball well. A boundary from Dependra Singhari's first delay. Bowling. Nicely driven. Going to get good reward. Never any fielders down there. Straight down the ground. Cannons into the advertising cushions. Out of appearance of any kind. Cleaned him up. There's the googly. Just his second delivery back. And Sandy Plamachani keeps doing what he does for the national team. And that's taking wickets. Clubbed down the ground. Going to go all the way for six. Stand and deliver from Van Lingen. Just that little bit of flight given by Raj Banshi. And as he's hitting with the turn, Van Lingen can trust the bounce. That drip in the last moment. You can see there. He uses his hip as well. The pivot is there. And that's going to be 50 for Van Lingen. Nepal know all about just how good a player he is. And look at that. The home crowd rises to Van Lingen. It may be against the national team, but they just love their cricket here. They're so knowledgeable and passionate about the game. They give him a beautiful ovation. It's come from 69 deliveries, not big hitters. Big strike. And that's the problem for Raj Banshi. And at that pace, if he misses his length, Erasmus is going to pounce on it. And he finally breaks the shackles, gets his first maximum. It's a very good stroke and a very good pickup shot all the way for six. Smoked into the leg side and going to be more than enough to go all the way for six. Unfortunately, he's one of the ground staff. He won't be getting KFC. You've got to be in the crowd. Like I earlier said, uh, hit it up in the air out of the ground for a six this is the problem so it's the the gun strike bowler for nepal back in december As this one goes down the ground and goes for six sampal kami got a hand to it but could get no more and couldn't cling on another big moment in the game erasmus turned away from the shot as though he'd given it away he'd hold in a couple of yards and this one's hit with a bit more conviction to the vacant area out of deep mid-wicket. These two are putting on a batting clinic here right now. It's going to be 50 for Gerhard Erasmus. Gets there from 72 deliveries. Yet another ODI 50 for Namibia's captain. What an outstanding player he is. And for six. And he may have brought about a chance here. Long off comes in, nestles underneath it. And Kusha Mala does strike how he's deserved that wicket. It's Lamachani who takes the catch he's such a clever bowler he should have three per after two drops he's now got one per and finally the home fans have something to cheer yeah Erasmus gone for 56 that was a very good bowling by he mixes his pace as well a good bouncer coming saw him coming down the track hit it over the boundary for six runs a good batting by Van Lingen to the sky, Mala runs back and takes a good catch that is the fourth wicket Karen Casey's deserved that, he's worked hard for that and we sp speak about the experience of KC the home fans love it, the out signs are being held up, what a bit pressure builds but he gets it away and he gets to what will be a third one day international century 
You know, scamper back for the second to go with it. It's been a quite magnificent innings. It's come from 118 deliveries. He's shown particular power through the leg side. Very, very stylish. A graduate of that ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup team that beat South Africa all the way back in 2016. And he's coming into his own now in the men's international game. A third century in innings of real class. And it's back-to-back -back ODI hundreds for that man on your screen. Yes, and final 10 overs. And that's why they could be thinking of 270 plus. It's the power of Van Lingen that goes all the way for six. Chance at band in tow now. So Freiling tries to hit out and hit out he does. What a shot that is. All the way onto the grass. Banks for six. The slog sweep may be the shot of the day. And he's going to go down swinging. Yeah. The ball then. Karen Casey through the gates of Freilink. He was injured. He was just uh, having that discomfort on his hamstrings. Tried to play a big shot. Was completely beaten and bowled by Karen Casey. A good comeback and a good wicket. This one is heaved into the leg side and going to go a long, long way, all the way for six. Maybe the slower ball is getting too predictable. Zane Green lined that one up in place now. And this one's helped into the leg side and Lamachani gets a second. Listen to the roars of the crowd. Maybe not the best delivery, but your France didn't know too much about that. And the hometown crowd roar. Yeah, very should get most of the runs for Nepal and this yet another maximum. Beauty, a real beauty. Namachani strikes back to the perfectly pitched leg break. He's just been hit for ten and two deliveries, but the home fans have something to cheer again. On strike. Yeah, Karen KC, change of ends, but the runs continue to flow. Just so difficult to defend late in the innings here. Helped away into the leg side, and it's going to be a boundary. Four runs to the total. The runs have really flowed here in the final 15. This innings. Big appeal, and given... I'm not quite sure Zane Green can believe it, and Buddy Pradam was on the walk, but something off the bat they feel, and a very good catch held by Asif Sheikh. Karen KC has a four. He's going to try to, but I think instead he's picked out a deep mid-wicket fielder who's managed to hold on to a catch that Buddy Pradam just wants to check, but it's going to be five, and... A magical five wicket haul on a day that holds as big a place in his heart. Karen Casey kisses the pitch. It's 113 after 30 overs. They've managed to post a rather remarkable 285, scoring 175 runs. Eight wickets between Karen Casey and Sandeep Lamachani. There's a reason why they're the two leading wicket takers, and that'll get us to the end of. Nice. Oh, that's a good length from Trimpleman, a big lad, tall, fast bowler. Four no, maybe a series where you play four games. And Schultz has gone straight through. The middle stump is gone. The plan has worked. Erasmus roars. Schultz straight over to him. They've identified something in Asif Sheikh. They said we're going to go left arm spin at the top, and Namibia love it when a plan. But Bertel says, you're not going to do that to me. I'm going to smash you down the ground. That goes all the way for six. That brings the crowd into the game. That's more like it for Nepal. Two boundaries in the open. Smoked. Stand and deliver from Mala. Dug into the wicket and helped away for four. Big roar from the crowd. going to be runs and four of them no slip in place just a push a prod no more than that from Kushal Bertel and a right tilt of the head gets away to their two best spinners and they won't with strokes like that over pitched and no more than a punch that's all Mala needed to do again you see how quick the outfield is a nice boundary through the you staying up till 
Mallet down the ground, and he's going to get four. Just one bounce in front of the rope. And lovely pickup shot brings up the 50. This chase is starting. Where you should go. Thuds into the pad and given. I said you can get a bit of everything from Jan Nickel off to Eaton. It was a drag down. Leg side wide, followed up by one that Mallet thought was there to be hit, and maybe it was. Immediately. And that is just a chip shot down the ground, and that is a shot of real class. Definitely the shot of the innings so far. Good hit. Straight down the ground. Over the boundary for six runs. That is Roy Bodell for you. And that's over pitched. And again, with, with Lofty Eaton, I think he's got talent as a leg spin. Let us know where you're watching from. If you're enjoying the coverage and a slog sweep all the way for six. Oh, Kushal Bertelli looks like he's on one now. And that's a big hit. And the fans dancing in the crowd. We've got cricketers of real skill playing strokes like that all the way for four. The national team captain, Rowan Powell, pulling that one away. Too short from Birkenstock. These overs from the France become even more important and that's going to be 50 for Kushal Bertel one of the biggest cheers of the day it's his fourth one day international 50 no huge celebration that to me indicates he knows there's a lot of work to be done and eight boundaries good strike rate they do runs 33 to be precise another big one that's a huge six into the media box well, this is simply a massive difficulty. Powell goes down the ground and he goes huge right into the VIP section and put down in the crowd. A chance at KFC goes down. Of 1.5 overs, another shot played on the offside, looking for two, but has to settle for one. After 24, Nepal are attacked by Powell and Powell is going to try and do the same. To Van Lingen over pitched, helped away a pretty friendly, juicy half volley into the attack around the wicket. And it's put away, and much more like it, just what the Nepali home fans wanted to desperately need it. Down the ground, all the way for six. Kushal Bertel is not going to watch and wait, and they're going to keep going, hammering <laughs> tongues. And there's a dream position. This one's helped away, and it's going to be four. There's no cow corner in place, so again, selective hitting. Select is eight over. And that's a wild, a wicked, a soft dismissal for Trempleman. And Roy Podell has to walk a long way back to the pavilion. And there it is. There's always a twist. Will he see it through this time? Now goes for the Yorker and cleans him up. It's the double bluff. And that's the brilliance of Trumpleman, and he gives him a send-off to boot. Kushal Mala tickled the previous one round the corner, but this time he's lost his leg stump. Slog sweep. And it's going to go all the way again. Look at that aggression, that confidence from Bertel. There's a man out there. He goes to a career high. Massive appeal and given it's the final ball of Trumpleman's spell. And has he struck a telling blow? Because Dependra Singh Iri, try as he may to keep it out, was beautiful. Bertel gets there. It's come from 99 deliveries, nine fours and four sixes. It's beautiful. It's brilliant. It's Kushal Bertel. And with a kiss of the badge, he goes to three figures. Yeah, and the strike rate is still. What a hit! Straight to the dugout off the Nepal side. A huge six by Zora. Well, well, he's just coming to promise as this has helped around the corner and taken. There is another twist. Jora, instead of getting underneath it and getting it all the way for six. This time he gets something on it and he gets more than enough of it. It's gone for six. Usually hits them straight down the ground. This time he's hit it straight up. Over the last four or five years, as Karen Casey just keeps doing what he does, particularly on Valentine's Day. Oh, yes. Maybe that one was held in the crowd about time. Straight to the fielder. 
He's taken another wicket. Another twist in the tail. Only three needed. Why did Kushal Burtel need to do that? It's three to win. Tries to do it in one blow, but I think he's held out. I think he's hit it straight to mid off. Oh dear, not the shot that was required. And now Namibia slip a silly point, a short leg. Here's the hat trick ball. Kept out and punched for one at least for two. Oh, it's all the way. It's a boundary four. And from the hat trick ball, they've had to drag themselves almost kicking and screaming over the line. But it's the fans that are screaming. Nepal, the highest chase in their history. They've made history here at this fantastic TU International Cricket Ground. They've won by two wickets. It's at every twist and turn you can imagine, Paresh. But it doesn't matter. They've done their two huge points and 10,000 happy fans here. Bowlers figures as well. Seven wickets, eight wickets in fact fell to them. And we'll see the highlights of those in a moment. But the critical thing I wanted to point weight of the lifting. I'll leave you with Paresh for the moment. I'll be back with you at the post-match presentation. Don't go anywhere too far. Van Lingen 133, another Centurion from Namibia. Erasmus 56 and Green 34. In current cases, six, five wickets and ten overs.